Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So guys, I just wanted to do another video uh, as a follow-up to my video from this morning, talking about how ADA is uh, rising in price right now. And I know a lot of you guys are, you know, you're looking at different tokens and you're thinking to yourself, why isn't my XRP rising the same way uh, XLM did? or Cardano is doing right now, or any other of those cryptocurrencies that we've seen move on bullish news over the last several months. And so I just brought up a few articles here. So IBM blockchain, uh, World Wire launches in 72 countries that was related to Stellar's XLM. And uh, as you can see here in this chart, we did see a bit of a boost. This is XLM on a daily. And we did see a bit of a boost here for XLM. Uh, and then recently, right, Cardano bullish as IOHK launches the last major release prior to the Ouroboros BFT uh, and uh, ADA, right? We're seeing a, a bit of a spike with ADA right now. And a lot of these cryptocurrencies are just moving on news. Last one here, uh, and we remember this right from back at the end of September, early October, Ripple's cryptocurrency product goes live for the first time with three financial firms. And that was from October 1st. But we had heard this news uh, months before. We knew XRAP it was going to go live. We weren't sure what date it was going to be, but uh, signs were pointing to whatever the conference was uh, around this time. And so a lot of people were buying on spec. And just to go, just to show you guys uh, a little here, this is XRP on a daily, right? Uh, and around uh, September 17th, a lot of people bought up XRP, culminating in a huge spike up here on September 21st. Uh, and the actual date of the XRAPID release was this candlestick here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and so this was the candlestick when it was actually released, but there was a lot of speculation going on and rightfully so as it was released on this day. The point I'm trying to make though is that a lot of these people are buying coins, cryptocurrencies on spec and the news moves the market. But which coins are moving most and by how much? Uh, and I seem to think that XRP is the front runner in this pack because first of all, the proof is in the partnerships. They have signed over 200 banks. I know a lot of you guys were getting worried about this IBM thing and Worldwire, but realistically guys, uh, there is room in this space for so many companies to thrive. Even if IBM and Stellar does get a, a, a share of the market, we already know that Ripple has a huge portion of this market. So we're going to see a lot of different projects do fairly well. Cardano is a project that's doing something a little different. Um, and uh, w one other thing I just kind of wanted to say, this uh, these articles here is funny. When I was looking for these specific headlines, for, for example, IBM and Worldwire, uh, I found it on the Bitcoinist website, the Cardano News. I found it on ethereumworldnews.com. And then as soon as I Googled it for Ripple, uh, the first thing that came up was CNBC. And so that just goes to show you, that's, that's the first indication of which which company, which project has the most mainstream attention at this moment? And I think that's only going to grow. Uh, CNBC, as you guys know, is a mainstream news outlet. Uh, these other ones are smaller, little cryptocurrency centric news websites. So, uh, you know, even when searching this online, you can already see the kind of foothold Ripple has in this emerging market. But what I really wanted to talk about was this. I wanted to go over some of the numbers and uh, do a bit of a math analysis on cryptocurrency surges over news. And uh, Litecoin was another one, right? Uh, here's Litecoin, okay? We saw a, a, an initial surge here over the last uh, several weeks from mid-February, late February uh, into March. And uh, Litecoin, we know that uh, it's having very soon. Also, there was the Venezuela news and the Venezuelan people are now able to buy cryptocurrency uh, because their government is, is telling them, hey, look, you know what? Our currency is suffering hyperinflation. And so here's a platform where you can either buy Bitcoin or Litecoin. Uh, and so I just wanted to kind of give you guys some perspective on news and what these uh, certain cryptocurrencies are doing with regards to the news, the price movement with regards to the news. So let's start with Litecoin here. Okay, as we know, uh, this is the news for Litecoin and Litecoin between February 7th and March 18th. So 38 days, uh, we saw Litecoin increase by 89%. And what is the average uh, increase for Litecoin, that's 2.3% per day on average, okay, based on this news here. Uh, and this is the chart for Litecoin. 
Okay, next we have XLM, and we know the XLM news, right? Uh, the IBM blockchain Worldwire, and so that was big news uh, over the last week or so. And so we saw a bit of a move up here for XLM. And what does that mean for XLM? Well, off the IBM Worldwire news, XLM saw an increase of 34% between March 8th and March 18th. That's a 10-day period. And so that is a daily gain of about 3.4% average daily gain per day over 10 days. Um, and then we saw XLM starting to decline here. So I just kind of took the numbers from roughly around the time or before the time, basically when the news was public and then calculated the gain based on the news before it started to fall again. So over this 10 days, we saw 34% gain. Uh, that's roughly 3.4% per day. So ADA, right? Uh, Cardano's the next one here. And we know there's some bullish news with Cardano. And uh, a lot of people are eyeing Cardano because of this bull run here, okay? We're looking at Cardano and we're, we're noticing that there was a 28% gain between March 8th and March 22nd. So that was 14 days, giving us an average about 2% per day. And the kinds of gains we see based on public's perception of these particular coins based strictly on news. And now here's the piece de resistance, in my opinion, because we know the XRP community is big. We know it's thriving. We know it's supported by a lot of people. Internally, externally, we know public's perception of XRP will be massive in the future. At least that's my opinion on it. The foothold they have in the industry, the partnerships they have, the fact that I can Google Ripple's uh, X Rapid and CNBC's website comes up first as opposed to these smaller little uh, cryptocurrency centric websites. Okay, so let's take a look at the numbers for XRP and when this was announced. And so we have, um, right before X Rapid was announced, there was uh, rumblings about it and we all heard about it. And on September 17th, that was kind of like the last day before we saw the huge pump based on the X Rapid news. Okay, so when we go back here, uh, XRP uh, based on X Rapid news saw an increase of 180% in four days from September 17th to September 21st. We know X Rapid was released on October 1st, or at least the news was finally officially public. But what kind of gain did we see in those four days, guys? That is a 45% gain day over day for four days, equaling 180%. So what do these conclusions show? XRP has the most enthusiasm in the community, the most professional company behind them, mainstream exposure. Not only that, they have money earmarked to foster the XRP ecosystem through the spring initiative. That will only create more demand for XRP, thus making the community thrive even more. So guys, what this shows me is that even if we have another spec bull run, let's put real world utility aside, and we have another spec bull run. I could see based on those factors, based on this snapshot alone, based on just a little bit of news, periodically over here for Litecoin, over there for XLM, and over there for ADA, right? These isolated incidences will give us an idea of where these particular cryptocurrencies could go in the next bull run based on enthusiasm, confidence, and overall project viability. XRP is the clear winner with a 45% day over day average increase based on news. So guys, I just wanted to bring this to your attention just to hammer home the point, the kind of project we are invested in. This ain't no two bit operation. This is the real deal, my friends. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.